Hey what's up guys, Pro here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So today we've got a brand new video on Morel of course. I'm going to be showcasing you this deck right here today. R Ram Rider, Musketeer, Log Archers, uh, yeah, that's the Archers, Fireball, Raw Recruits, Cannon Cart, and finally the Goblin Cage. So this is the deck, I tried to make a video on this deck yesterday, but I didn't actually record the microphone correctly, and it was a weird, and then I pretty much actually made four videos yesterday. I know, I know it's very rare. However, I did actually try to record four videos yesterday and they all had the same mistake. I should have checked after the first one, but I didn't. And that's why you got no video yesterday. But we're back today. I'm sure this one will be absolutely fine. That's why you'll be seeing it today. But yeah, let's jump into some games. So before we do jump into any games with this deck, remember if you do happen to enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. It does help the channel a lot. And of course, feel free to drop a like rating as well, both of which are greatly appreciated. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. Game number one right now. Let's see what we can do against this individual right here gilbo brian probably pronounced the name wrong as usual but <laughs> it's all good hopefully we can win so we take the princess out she does actually get two shots off onto the arena tower looks like the guy's using some like form of bait deck or something i'm not really too sure what i'm going to do is i'm just going to allow the dark goblin to do its thing because i've not really got the best of cycles to be honest like i've said i've only literally played three games with this deck before so I'm not really too sure how to use it, but hopefully I can win. So the cannon cart should eliminate each other as long as he doesn't interfere and deploy something else. So fortunately for us, he didn't. Otherwise, we would have had to defend the, the cannon cart. So he's actually given us good fireball value right here. I would just go ahead and gladly take that. You don't really see Zappies every single day. So it's a bit surprising to actually face them right there. So the opponent's got the mini packer. What I'm going to do is we will go with the Musketeer right now. He does give us great log value as well. No! Oh, we got it! Okay, I... <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. I genuinely did not expect to get Dark Goblin as well. That's actually hilarious, but we've got the Ram Rider going in right now. Musketeer should take the Cannon Cart out or at least prevent it from crossing the river anyway. In fact, she'll actually outrange it. In my opinion, Musketeer is actually the best card in the game. If you agree, let me know. If you disagree, feel free to let me know as well. I wonder. I'd be interested to see what you think is the best card in the game. Drop a comment down below. Let me know. But yeah, we're doing pretty well so far. We are doing pretty well. So we know what cards he's got. He's got the Skeleton Army. He's got the Mini Packer. Mini Packers are no problem. The only concern I've already got are the Zappies. But we can Fireball them. And then the Skeleton Army, which we can Log Spell. So it's looking pretty good. What I'm going to do is we'll go Musketeer at the back right now. We will actually open ourselves up to like a fireball or potentially like a lightning spell. So hopefully we don't actually see one of those. We are going to go Royal Recruits as well. Sadly, they did spawn in a little bit too late. I sadly didn't have the elixir I did actually need right there. He does go with the arrows, but he does miss the archers. Musketeer is doing some work. We're going to prediction log on the right hand side. We actually do a very good prediction log right there. And now we're going to go Ram Rider on the left hand side as well. He's going to say good luck. We're just going to 20 win him guys. I, I don't care. So he's saying good luck as in I got lucky with the prediction log. I literally called it before I did it and we did play really, really well. So we're just going to go all in with the Musketeer right now. Hopefully we can get the tower before he gets one. Sadly, <laughs> sadly we didn't, but we ended up winning anyway. We're just, every time you see it, okay, we're just going to keep doing this. Yeah, do you, but he's so mad. This guy's talk. He's so angry. He's so angry. But yeah, we're just going to keep spamming some emotes. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. That was funny. So yeah, that was a good game. We did actually play really, really well. We hit the prediction log right there. And yeah, that was a, an okay game. So let's jump into game number two. All right, guys. So it's now some time later. I was actually interrupted midway through game number two. I'll show you here. I did lose to this golem player. So pretty much, I'll just give you a summary of the game. So pretty much what happened was it was even. Everything was going well. And then his golem got loads of damage. It was down to about 800 HP on my tower. And then it was down to about 1,200 on the enemy tower. I had the Ram Rider. Oh, sorry. However much damage the Ram Rider does. Let's have a look. Yeah, 600. So about, give or take, I don't even know, like 1,300 maybe. Yeah, about 1,300 HP on his tower. About 800 on my tower. His golem push pretty much took my tower down to about lightning spell range. And I think he added it. What other spell did he have? Tornado. I how did he I can't even really remember but pretty much he won my ram rider could have connected and almost took the tower up but even if it did connect it wouldn't have done enough damage and then I didn't have the log in hand he won with lightning spell 
and that's pretty much that so what we'll do is we'll jump into another game right now hopefully i don't actually get interrupted inside of this match all right so we're in the game right now i don't really mind if i lose it's part of the game but it's just when i get interrupted that's why there's the break in the video so my apologies for that but either way let's see what we can do here so we've got the, co the goblin cage down right now let's see what we can do all right so we'll go musketeer over here it should be okay the hog rider probably will get two to three shots off but then again that is expected it is a hog rider at the, at the end of the day so what we'll do right now is we will go in with the ram rider and then we'll probably go prediction log but he's more than likely got 2.6 yep he does fantastic so we see hog rider 2.6 from the opponent and the musketeer survives insane all right so we're just going to allow his musketeer to do a thing it's thing it's going to get one shot but there's no point really of defending it i'm going to go with the archers right now looking back i probably could have defended it actually but we'll just say royal recruits there's now two on the left hand side tanking for the archer so the opponent would need to keep that in mind i'm sure one cannon will just defend everything because that's what buildings do they just defend everything and hopefully we can get some damage on the left that's the main plan that's the main focus so actually we're gonna get loads of damage i didn't even realize so that's looking all right we'll just go ahead and fireball right now we've got both towers down to half hp actually which is very good for us he's gonna be doing an emote that's fine that's fine and hopefully we can still win well hopefully we can win we are technically winning we've done more damage combined but yeah it's combined not all at once so what we're gonna do is we'll just go ram rider he's gonna go with the cannon that was expected i didn't log or anything like that because there's no point when he's up the cannon because what the log won't kill it so We'll go Goblin Cage very high up. We do need to consider he does have Fireball. So we won't give him the value right now. He does actually log spell to knock the Goblin Cage backwards. No Hog Rider to shot though. And that's looking very good for us. So what I'm going to do is we'll go all in right now with this. And then hopefully I can get the split lane push going right now. We'll go very high Royal Recruits towards the river. They do split evenly 3 to 3. And then what we'll do is we'll go Musketeer over here. He does actually fireball on the, the left hand side. That now gives us the opportunity to push on the right. The cannon's not really the best of deployments. We're going to prediction log for the ice spirit. Looks like it's nowhere to be seen. He's already back to cannon though because that's what hog 2.6 does. And now we should be able to pretty much take the tower down. It is down to... I think the only spell I've actually got is just fireball. So sadly for us it only does 250 I believe. So we would... Oh I do have log as well. My apologies. So we can log fireball if needed let's see let's have a look yeah so we would yeah that's what we need to do so he's gonna have to pretty much get to a second hog rider or back to fireball in seven seconds i'm not really too sure if we can if you can do it actually my log's not gonna make it oh wow okay that was too close that was actually very too close i, I didn't even think that made sense but we ended up winning fortunately for me his fireball didn't do enough damage i didn't even realize how close that actually got I was like playing that so relaxed and casually and then I realized at the end it was literally down to the wire. Whoever spawned the log the log spell first won the game. So fortunately we won it. Like I said, I'm not miss like editing out losses on purpose. I genuinely did get interrupted. Even look at the time difference right now, 59 minutes ago compared to one minute ago. And then one hour, two minutes ago. So that's when I originally started recording. Now we're back, of course. If you believe me, nice. If you don't, that's up to you either way jump into let's jump into game number three all right guys here we go game number three right now let's see what we can do hopefully we can win that would be very good perfect way to end the video i guess and technically it's like three wins but we did lose that one game where i did get interrupted that game was actually really intense it was like down to like triple elixir as well so in fact we're actually facing golem again right now so let's see what we can do he's more than likely he might actually have the same deck if he's got the same deck, we just need to really watch out for the bomber. And then we should be okay, I think. Because the bomber, of course, will literally just destroy the royal recruits right here. I'm just going to go with this. A bit strange, I know. But we'll just go for it anyway. Yeah, so he does have the lightning spell display. We'll just go ahead and cannon cart. If we take loads of damage, it's fine. But however, if you look at the right hand side of the screen, you will see we are getting some okay damage on the, on the right. I want to try and get the Ram Rider down, but I don't want to get, like, go too much value at once, if that makes sense. Yeah, so he does have the Bomber. I did kind of expect that, to be honest. But we are just going to Fireball it anyway. We do eliminate the Bomber with the Fireball right there. And the Cannon Cart does actually get some decent value. So we're down... Well, we're technically losing in terms of Tower HP for, like, one Tower. But like I mentioned before, 
across the board we're winning so let's try and keep that up so what we'll do right now is i'm just going to i'm gonna go ram rider okay the reason to why actually i don't think that was a good idea because he's now just gonna that's just gonna store the night witch yeah so there's the night witch night witch will remain on full hp pretty much and now what we're going to do is we're going to go right here and then I'd, i'm not really too sure how i'll eliminate the bats to be honest but we'll just figure that out as we get there we're gonna go royal recruits up top and then i'm going to go with archers pretty high up as well actually lumberjack's actually doing mad work uh, sorry the goblin cage is doing mad work to the lumberjack right there actually pretty much eliminating it to, like all together and we're more than likely going to lose the tower because of the bomber like i mentioned at the start the bomber is going to be the issue because he would just tear through the royal recruits there's literally no point of even trying to save the royal recruits at that stage because it's just pointless the bomber will eliminate the royal recruits so what we'll do now is we'll just go with the cannon cart the uh, the golems are like a tough deck to face literally the bomber is the problem it's not the main problem as such it's just one of the issues that when you basically you come against when facing this deck just with the specific deck i'm using of course it's not like all together um, it's not really that big of a deal but when you're using royal recruits it's kind of tough but i don't know let's tr just still try and win that's the main thing so what we'll do is we'll go with a i don't want to give him like luck oh my word yeah that's over i i can't defend that there's no point yep do your emotes buddy but yeah we're gonna lose sad times i only lost to golem so maybe this deck's not the best against golem but I did play pretty well. I could have probably done a little bit better if I tried a lot harder, but I don't know. You win, you lose. It's part of the game, like I've mentioned before. I'm not going competitive. There's no point. So just you win and lose. It's part of the game. But anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Let me know what you think. And apart from that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.